uh, machine learning in uh, governance, uh, risk, and uh, compliance um, uh, space. I'm going to be referring to uh, it as GRC for uh, brevity and clarity's sake uh, during my presentation. So please don't get confused. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, just to get everyone on the same page, um, uh, GRC is simply defined as the uh, integrated uh, collection of capabilities that uh, enable an organization that could be a business or a, a government organization uh, or uh, some nonprofit uh, to reliably achieve objectives uh, address uncertainty and act with integrity uh, of course it's a it's, it's a mouthful concept that has been uh, around since the, the mid 2000s uh, to improve the business management um, uh, with, with, with consistency and discipline and form a, a set of best practices such that all these organizations can benefit from it uh, continually across industries. Uh, GRC is uh, very much a team sport uh, as it touches uh, many different groups within a company, uh, starting uh, all the way up uh, with the board of directors down to audit, internal audit, legal, finance, IT, HR teams, as well as the individual lines of business. Uh, over the years, uh, various industry standard uh, operating procedures and maturity models have been developed uh, by uh, independent organizations and consortiums to serve as uh, guidelines and, uh, and references in implementing GRC projects. Um, we'll see some examples of those uh, being touched on by our speakers uh, later on today. Okay. Uh, regardless of the industry, however, um, uh, GRC initiatives deal with some common challenges that can be addressed by uh, injecting some machine learning and predictive insights into um, pre-established processes, audit controls, and best practices frameworks. Uh, first off, it's no news that the average business today is struggling to keep up with huge volumes of operational data streaming in. Uh, thankfully, machine learning algorithms thrive on data, and uh, on average, uh, the more the better. So um, this, this aspect usually proves very challenging for human experts, but machine learning um, actually, actually makes it much more manageable. Uh, first off, um, um, uh, secondly, sorry, uh, there is the challenge of the um, uh, limited pool of employees with the uh, right analytical and industry expertise. Um, the, the few ones in place can get overwhelmed easily um, without any automation in the mix. But on the other hand, uh, machine learning workflows can be automated end to end to lighten their workload, uh, pinpointing anomalies that uh, really deserve their attention while leaving out uninteresting patterns that would be wasting their time. Uh, as in the example of cybersecurity, um, current th trend is pointing to more and more malicious attacks targeting businesses. But fortunately, machine learning systems have already been uh, proven to help automate surveillance and highly suspicious behavior, uh, be it internal or external, on or offline, faster and more accurately than the traditional rule-based systems. And uh, finally, the nature of uh, GRC challenges are constantly evolving, and uh, machine learning enhanced GRC systems uh, can help detect even subtle changes in the organizational context as represented in the input data streams to existing models. Uh, in case significant gaps are uh, identified between previous model assumptions and the latest data coming in, uh, certain types of system alerts can then be triggered. Applications of machine learning in the GRC context are many. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, cybersecurity is a growing area of investment for businesses with the uh, uh, increasing number of attacks by government and non-government malicious actors taking center stage these days. Uh, most recently, we witnessed the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack disrupting life in eastern United States, as well as the attack uh, Microsoft Exchange Server customers suffered. Machine learning can help identify such suspicious behavior in an unsupervised manner, even if few prior intrusion examples exist. On the other hand, financial transactions such as credit cards involve a significant percentage of fraud, which is challenging for banks and card issuers to address quickly and continuously. As an example, BigML has helped uh, Rabobank implement such a uh, machine learning based solution that has helped their team pinpoint uh, suspicious transactions much faster uh, without having to double or triple their, their, their analysts uh, count. Um, 
Anti-money laundering and know your customer regulatory use cases similarly help financial firms speed up their due diligence without failing uh, 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 to comply with uh, the, the rules the authorities uh, put in place. Uh, many times honest mistakes or malicious behavior can origina originate from internal actors uh, which require that IT and HR teams record and sift through key employee activities to uh, predict and correct policy violations. Uh, that can take many different forms. And uh, these are just a few GRC use case examples where machine learning has a big role to play, a central ro role to play, that help helps you hopefully paint a picture in your mind about the, the different possibilities. Our speakers on the agenda today will be covering the remaining real life applications uh, in this list. Uh, it's really a vast domain, uh, but some of the topics uh, they will be covering will include things like legal document rules, ex extraction, uh, regulatory change management practices. But I'd like to mention one uh, specific smart application that, that we have built uh, related to credit risk intelligence. And uh, uh, we basically developed a versatile smart application as a decision aid for a European firm to assess and classify the credit worthiness of their uh, loan uh, applicants and prospects based on uh, their preferred risk appetite at any given moment of time. Uh, using CRI, um, loan officers can adjust the operating thresholds of the underlying classifier models to their liking while everything is recorded for full traceability and reporting purposes uh, for later. Uh, the same smart application can be uh, adapted to other adjacent financial risk management contexts with some customizations uh, as long as the access to, to uh, relevant data sources uh, are secure. In many instances, the uh, GRC machine learning applications are not built in vacuum because uh, the intended customer already has some sort of uh, a rule-based system and policy controls in place. Um, this pushes the decision makers to opt for um, a hybrid approach. Um, that's a sort of a common pattern that we've been observing where they prefer to keep uh, rule-based systems intact while overlaying machine learning predictions to um, empower uh, subject matter experts. Uh, they believe the combination makes their uh, standard operating procedures more robust and reliable. Uh, and, and this has also been the case uh, for our customer uh, uh, using the CRI uh, smart application, the, uh, the credit risk intelligence application that I've been referring to. Uh, and here is the workflow that underpins this application. Uh, we're not going to cover it in detail, but uh, the uh, interesting thing here is that they are actually computing both the uh, the, the score for a new loan application using the, the classifier models, the machine learning models, as well as their, their more traditional rules-based system. In the end, both um, um, scores are, are combined to make for a final recommendation. Uh, and the, um, the risk score has different tiers that are defined by the customer based on their perceived risk uh, with a letter grade, uh, and um, you know, combining both scores uh, and looking at the final recommendation, the loan officer basically makes up his or her mind in terms of whether or not go to, uh, they should go ahead with, with that particular application and grant the loan. As seen in previous examples, the promise of uh, uh, machine learning to further improve GRC systems is uh, real and on display already on multiple fronts. Uh, however, this trend also highlights the need to apply some uh, some of the same rigorous risk management thinking towards uh, machine learning based systems uh, added to the GRC tool mix. The, um, the AI risk and security work group at the University of Pennsylvania has outlined uh, potential risks uh, some uh, AI and ML systems can introduce. Uh, as seen in this graphic uh, at a high level, these risks involve aspects such as data quality and completeness issues uh, when training machine learning models. As the old adage, adage goes, uh, garbage in, garbage out is basically what you're trying to avoid here. Um, then we have, um, although they're not very commonplace today, uh, some potential adversarial uh, querying, model querying attacks um, that may be contaminating training data sets or trying to reveal the underlying model even though the party may not have authorization to do so. Uh, similarly, software teams have to change and adapt their, their, their testing practices um, uh, 
to machine learning systems because they're not the same as the deterministic software systems that they're used to testing. Uh, but um, for the most part, those are not insurmountable challenges and the space is maturing um, as, as time goes by to, to address some of those challenges uh, and, and make the systems that are uh, containing machine learning intelligence more compliant with, with the existing rule sets. Uh, and the good, good news is that the AIRS uh, work group found out that already uh, nearly half the companies that they surveyed have um, very clear definitions of what an AI slash ML system is. For example, should robotic process automation be considered AI, ML, or not, things like that. And they have actually gone ahead and updated their existing um, policies to, to adapt to, to machine learning based systems and their, their outputs as well. So this will be a huge help for those companies who will be late adopters as they pave the way. Finally, having mentioned the machine learning platforms multiple times, uh, it'd be a miss not to touch on the role they play in the GRC context. Uh, machine learning software platforms such as BigML are proven to accelerate the adoption of machine learning use cases at scale in the enterprise setting. They offer a strong foundational layer, packaging the best algorithms, the standardized workflows, um, and uh, they do so in an easily consumable manner so businesses can achieve faster time to market and more efficiently manage and maintain production models. The uh, BigML platform itself specifically aids uh, with uh, GRC efforts with uh, features like unsupervised anomaly, anomaly detection, our auto ML capability optimal, uh, prediction ex explanations and model some summary reports that help with the adoption by frontline employees uh, who sometimes may mistakenly perceive machine learning models as complete black box boxes. Um, and also the REST API and the pre-built data connectors that come with the platform make it easy on the IT teams to integrate uh, the models with the rest of their enterprise systems. Um, we'd be happy to demonstrate any of these capabilities for our audience after this event. Uh, but for now, with this, I'd like to pass the baton to our next speaker, uh, who will uh, inform us about uh, GRC solutions and cybersecurity. And thank you for your time. Thank you.